As a toddler mom, cocomelon has been the gift that keeps on giving. When I'm busy or when I just need some time for myself, because as toddler moms you can relate, there are times that you just need some time for yourself. No interactions. You don't want to you don't want any kind of distractions from your toddler. Cocomelon has been coming through a lot, or so I thought. But what is this reaction when I say no? No cocomelon for you. I'm not going to lie, Cocomelon is quite entertaining, even to you as an adult. Sometimes I find myself humming to their tunes when I'm taking a shower or when I'm doing something. It's very catchy. It has some very catchy and entertaining tunes. But if it has that kind of effect on me, an adult, to the point where sometimes I'm humming the, the same tunes, can you imagine the, same, the effect that it has on kids? According to therapists, the overstimulating music and tunes of Cocomelon, paired together with the colorfulness of the show, makes kids to release dopamine. dopamine. Dopamine is the hormone responsible for pleasure, joy, satisfaction, all this stuff. So that means when a child is watching Cocomelon, they release the exact same hormone as an addict getting a high. That's scary to think about. To be completely honest, I have been in denial for the longest time because I started getting this information a while back about the negative effects of cocomelon, but I was in denial because of the positive side of it because cocomelon actually enables me to have some alone time. It enables me to have some time for myself or it enables, also enables me to get some things done, some work done because once my son is in front of the screen watching this show like his whole attention is on the show which is not a good thing it is a very very bad thing also uh cocomelon has some educational educational impact it has had some very positive educational impact on my kid my kid can actually count he can say colors he can do all these things he can communicate his needs whatever he wants and all this, all this was thanks to Cocomelon, or so I thought. But now it has gotten to a point where you cannot say no to him when he says that he wants to watch Cocomelon. He will have some very crazy outbursts. He will be very frustrated. He will be angry. He'll start throwing things around. He will be so moody, so agitated. Typical addiction signs. And this has gotten me to a point where I think it's time for me to now say no. A real no and a final no to this show in as much as it has served me for a while a kid is not supposed to react like that so what do i do instead i let him go outside i take him out let him get his hands dirty i allow him to play outside with his with other kids or even just by himself i allow him to get him his hands dirty a little bit we can always get him clean we can always wash him just get his mind away from the show get him get his mind away from that overstimulating music all the colorful themes that the show has chosen we even go for walks sometimes random walks Sometime back on TikTok, there was this funny trend where parents used to play the opening theme song of Cocomelon and they would film the reaction of their kids. Literally, kids used to jump over hoops. Kids used to jump through hoops just to come and watch because that's how much this show has kids on a chokehold. It was funny back then, but right now, Witnessing the reaction I get from my son whenever I say no to that show, whenever I tell him no, go play with your bike or go ride your go ride your bike or go play with your cars. Whenever I tell him no to this show, the kind of reaction I get from that little boy is scary. It's upsetting and it's heartbreaking and it's not funny anymore. Hence the conclusion that we're not doing Cocomelon anymore in this household. So, of course, I'm not going to plug pull the plug immediately just once i'm going to do it a step at a time a day at a time we're going to just reduce the consumption we're not going to like shut it out completely because it's an addiction you don't do that 
at once we're going to do it slowly by slowly and eventually it's going to get to a point where he does not need it he does not crave it and he does not watch it anymore that's the plan thank you for watching let me know what you think please hit the subscribe button bye